and welcome back to a personal code of conduct now it's no longer like uncle fm is spotify for podcasters okay that's fine <laughs> i don't know like we're back to being the um weekly ranter where she basically does a an audio blog of her life instead of offering you any other philosophical changes and see like how i'm living my life um i had a shitty um relapse i know it's not one of those i don't call eventful i, I wasn't to use nonsense words like fun relapses there's no such thing as a fun relapse it's it's not one of those eventful relapses that you expect of a young adult it's just it's one of those um my room's a mess i did not go on a walk today but i have a legitimate reason for that i was cosplaying being an auntie to two babies for uh two days <laughs> basically two nights and one day and three quarters i, I was cosplaying being an aunt uh, well i'm actually an aunt but like ah oh, fuck um young children can touch you everywhere and it, you can be really burned out of human touch jesus christ i like i kept on seeing like an older sibling that i just know is frustrated with the amount of physical contact she has to because like she is related to me and we are very introverted in my family and very anti-touch and i was like being a parent oh my god i'm very sure she it's like she just she was so obviously frustrated with how much those babies like to touch her constantly ignore the fact that we at one point uh by the same last year we're in her body but like jesus they like to touch people like touch people jesus anyways we're dealing with the whole situation that um, I have free time. I have work, but I also have free time and I have an opportunity to be a better person And I think I want to work on my back It's just my room is so tiny. It's just to get a setting point. It's to get to like um, a decent point where I can Stretch do back exercises because my back is fucked up and I'm like if you want to Stay in work or I, I don't know if I've been okay. Let me explain the concept I have been looking at like a bunch of random comments. I wanted to say like research. No, I wasn't researched. The data can come and meet me. But like a lot of people have been saying that like um, comments on a not just bikes recent. No, uh, it's an older not just bikes video. But a comments on a not just bikes video about like having a third place. And I realized that I don't have a third place. Okay, I do. You can maybe consider my gym a third place, but I don't talk to anybody. I don't think I want to talk to somebody. But the thing is people are like are open to spontaneous meetings and and kini and like getting to know people outside at the third place and for a lot of people the gym is their third place it's just like oh can i get drop sets blah 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 why we wait for this other person to use this thing you have a conversation where are you from what it is like people you don't really know but you kind of know you can get a job from those kind of people and you know how third places are important blah 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 those kind of scenarios and i realized i don't have those like i don't have a third place like i, I do have the gym but like i don't talk to people in there oh fuck did i just do something irresponsible ah oh, fuck i just did something irresponsible um i what i did was ir- irresponsible is something very very i can't even say it on the internet but it was funny and just like irresponsible in the last like 30 seconds I hope it doesn't burn shaft. <laughs> Just now I have my burning face mask and I put my hand where my hand that still has um, burning face mask residue in places where you shouldn't be putting burning face mask residue. Um I don't know. The thing is I don't feel 25, but like I am 25. Like mentally I'd say like um based on what like information I've gathered on the internet, uh, other than the working aspect and being a suitable leader, able to complete the projects, able to complete tasks, um, inventing things, pushing yourself out there, ensuring that things are completed, projects are completed, promotion and you work towards things and but it's, it's trying to get yourself ahead i don't think i've <laughs> i'm an overachiever that has burnt themselves into an underachiever and i don't want that to be a situation so like i want to like do additional things 
I know I mentioned this like last week. I'm not sure if I mentioned it because this has zero flow. I'm already five minutes in and I've said nothing at all. I, it would be an ideal situation where you got a job, you were dedicated to the job, and your country was get, just getting developed around you. But it doesn't feel that way with Nigeria. And I, and I feel bad for older people who had spent like 40, 50 years in service of a public company and many people in private companies that a lot of things were folding up, fucking up. You, you couldn't even, you couldn't have a reasonably long career anywhere. And yet you, you just had a country that just kept on getting poorer poorer and our population constantly obsessively expanding no somehow i i want to have the delusional fantasy that we are not um we're definitely not 200 million that we're maybe something like 60 million because the million people is a lot of people yada 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 and i'm like nope the way things are going we are definitely 200 million and i'm like fuck are we ever going to become developed like this and i'm just like i don't know because you can um you can look at the whole not just bikes move to the netherlands blah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah but like do i want to move somewhere and walk somewhere and be it? like that's the thing is like i'm not sh- like i can have fantasy of having like a nice villa yeah, 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 but i'm not exactly sure i want to be rich rich i just want to be i want to have like a decent amount of space to myself and go see places once in a while and uh, that's just it and you realize that a lot of people are like that it's just your country is not wealthy and i feel like i worry for wealthy countries because like things are getting more expensive so people aren't breeding and if people aren't breeding they're going to need more immigration and a lot of us from these third world countries we're not we're, we don't exactly have the best morals <laughs> not like and i feel like we focus on the wrong things but wh- why do i think it's the wrong things it's just like random oh whatever rich countries are doing might be better thing but like while i do be like believe that okay religion has some part to play in like societal morals but when it comes to overall morals like like um societal corruption thefts other things like i focus on the wrong aspect of morals and when you go to a rich country you, you bring the wrong aspects of morals to you which is like you wanted better education you wanted more freedom so why are you still acting like okay well yeah i don't know i think it's a phobia of something because there's like an extreme fear type situation if the way you act here i'm giving the freedom i'm giving you freedom to act like this in places where you are the majority Will I get the freedom to act the way I am here? And the answer is no. And I think that's what brings about that fear of like having foreigners or people of like a certain religion moving to your country. It's like you know that if they were the majority, you'd be fucked. Your life would be miserable, and it would be terrible. But it is those people's lives would be miserable and terrible because they are often moderates, oftentimes. So like you wouldn't, they're often moderates, and then you realize that. This is just rubbish. Like humanity is rubbish. Humanity is just rubbish. Just people seeking to carve out stability from themselves, happiness, wealth, excess, all sorts of things for themselves. And you realize like it's just a very scary situation. I guy, I don't know. I just want to I just want to vibe. Like I'm in this awkward time period where like I'm hungry but not hungry enough to warrant i will go and find food by force when my fire and it's already like super late so i didn't want to go outside to go and like find something light to munch on and i've also brushed my teeth anyway so eh. but like i re- i want to eat something sweet but like i, I think i want to cut down on milk because like milk makes me gassy so i need to find like a sweet breakfast option that is creamy Ooh, but yogurt doesn't make me gassy Ooh, maybe if you do yogurt instead because yogurt doesn't make me gassy but milk does if you do yogurt like sweet yogurt and and not oats obviously sweet yogurt and cereal but that is not going to be filling i'm looking for a filling breakfast oh 
oh god i'm tired i want stability and i think i don't know i don't i don't know what i want um, 25 doesn't feel awfully young anymore. I remember when I was, I, th- I was turning 23, that was like the whole, I don't feel young at all, yada yada, ah, fuck, this is blah blah blah. Then I turned 24, 24 was like a blur, now I'm 25, and I don't, and we finished the first quarter of my 20, um, five year old existence, my quarter of a century. I finished the first quarter of that year, and I'm like, Ah, fuck, what have you done? Well, you have written some articles. You've also gone to go and give your um, blog, which is connected to your freaking LinkedIn, a podcast type treatment where you started off focused with a structure and a goal and you went off the rails on something that was just interesting. We will go back to the serious day. And, because, like, Dio, you need to go and find those opportunities because those opportunities are out there. Like, look for the simple things, the task. What can you do? Get good at visualization. Get good at helping businesses. I Maybe I should even do, like, an Excel thing. I don't know, man. I don't know. Presenting data, telling a story, being a vibe. I'm tired. Oh, yeah, you should go back to reading that data science book. It was a really fun read. You should finish it. Make it a rule that you want to finish that shit. Like... On Monday, okay, it's going to take a couple of weeks because the textbook, but it was like business because it was, I feel like it's going to help me better with like data storytelling. I should do that because that is, because I kept on asking myself a question like what do I want to consider I am going to work every day for the next 60 years? What do I consider as doing that? Because for the most part, like, is the commute that is eating your life. Um... I need to find something which is, what I do now is fun but I feel like I would get sick of it when it becomes like we have so many things to do so I need to continue to add the storytelling aspect the business understanding aspect not just the writing the docs the writing the python the sitting there in the corner and doing those things and also you, like your like the um, trainer at the gym said you're becoming antisocial before you know it you stop knowing how to talk to people which I noticed like in the last like um eight months or so my drive my initiative to go meet people and be the one to start a conversation and be the one to like start a friendship start the life start the energy start the vibes is not there <laughs> it has died um i want to enable people to do well and i want to be a person of action there what are the actions you want to take in your life i don't know it'll be fine have a niche be constant be fine you do well i'm tired i'm so freaking tired man um yeah no i keep saying i remember i remember um was it december 2021 when i was my imagination of my february stuff was that i was going to be so stable and i was going to ask somebody um, I don't remember the person. Jesus Christ. Um, person. Remember that person in. Okay, I'm saying. Remember that person. I remember the podcast in like early January where I was so excited and I was like, I didn't want the person to know that they were my praise me human being, the kind of person that I wanted to talk to. And I was like, oh, I wanted to show them stuff and be like, tell me that I did good. <laughs> um. Yeah, we don't talk anymore. Fuck. Um. Am I sad? Not really. No. I just realized, yeah, you were waiting for stability and stability never came, so. And I also realized that it was probably me overthinking shit because people talk to people more than that before they make plans around um, that person. Weird. Um, I need money. I need holiday. I need to get on a plane comfortably. Uh, without um things i have the money to do that but i i i I don't want to just go to tourist sessions i want to eat good food and see interesting people and and exercise i don't know let's go wash this thing off my face (laughs) 
So what words do I have to offer? What um, words of encouragement? What structure? What this? What that? What do I have to offer? Um, you're young. You need um, you need to ask yourself how much money will you need. You need to like properly quantify how much money will you need to get what the things you want. Then you need to figure out how to get that money. I'm in the process of properly defining what I want. Is what I want is living in a developed society um, more important than um, carving out my little piece of paradise? Because those are two separate like ambitions, but who that may or may not require the same amount of money. But the thing is, when I'd be middle class up there, like in a wealthier country, and here I'd be really rich like but not like powerful rich just rich on your own quietly without knowing any government official type rich and that's fine but you still have to face like the bad health care the horrible traffic the whatever situation and it's like or maybe i care for myself i really need to even do yoga because like i i don't want to fuck up my spine with irresponsible lifts and especially since i don't have the patience to sit down and join a gym class or a coaching session and be responsible um i want stability i think i should just write this thing down listen to music be a vibe and do like 10 sets don't follow caroline because i do like caroline um 4 to 20 sets that's like five sets uh is it per exercise um four sets per exercise four exercises each mm, that's a lot of time spent at the gym but i feel like it'd be like okay this is what i'm doing this is the amount of rest i'm giving so i'm just now following this lady at the gym i should ask chat gpt why am i i should ask chat gpt um yeah i should do that uh yeah i should i should do that i should do that <laughs> i should actually do that I don't feel like I don't think I want to sit down, follow Caroline Grove, and then maybe like just include a run, so you can just spend like an hour a day at the gym, and a good amount of this would be um, would be resting. I don't know, but I want to get back in shape. I'm actually currently in shape. You just literally took one week off from training. You, you train three times a week for. Was five minutes each session and you have like a long one hour walk you just took a freaking week break if we train it that one week don't be dramatic um i don't know i'll be fine i just have to be fine um i don't know but this is the advice no, I'm not I'm repeating it. Quantify how much you want because I'm at a crossroad to properly decide what I do I do want to in my life. Even though I feel like, <laughs> and I and I keep saying that oh I'm too old to properly learn a program language. I, I keep even though I write um docs, I write a lot of SQL. I, even though I write a lot of Python, it feels like I don't know them because I often like write with the purpose of analytics in mind. I don't write for logic often, but I, and I notice that that like kind of affects me when I'm trying to speed up the quality of my of like making conditional rules in. Okay, it's that's easy in DAX, but like, making con- in ma- in manipulating tabular data, but making conditional rules in in um python <laughs> i i should i should tell you you have time it's just that my attention span is like it's it's, it's, it's i won't say shorter than that than it goes to, because i sat down in a three-hour session without touching my phone listening to speakers talk and people ask questions like you do have attention when people are demanding your attention but when like no one is demanding your attention and this is something that will benefit you or you alone you falter and don't do that Dio. don't freaking do that i don't know man i 
I want the people I know to do well. But the people I know are like me. And that's okay, they, and people I kind of know are not like me, but it, they they draw inspiration from me and like, oh, I, do, I don't want to be like that. But people I think I know are like me, and I also because I am a friend with some very brilliant people, but at the same time, I still think the same that I think of myself. We are really underutilizing our brilliance. Like, what is your ambition? Where do you want to go to? It's like things are not going to just fall into your lap because you say so. You might have to circumvent a dream because you want to focus on reality, but maybe I see that because I never particularly had a dream. But I know, like, but I don't want to say it, but some people are hammering on something. I'm like, was that really your dream? Did you truly desire that thing, or did you just pick one thing and say, This is the one thing that is very improbable, but I'm going to stick with it to the end? I don't know. I think it's time to bend dreams and wake up to corporate Nigeria and decide this is what you want to do because the time will just go past and I think I have done that and I I am in a place where I'm like okay yes this is something I could live with for the rest of my life and let me do that I don't know I'm tired what do I want to do for the rest of my life and that is a question I have to truly answer do I want to do all I can to carve off a little portion of paradise in Nigeria? Do I want to pull up and hide myself or maybe find a Nigerian community in some foreign country, preferably one with an amazing transport infrastructure? Um, so that would probably be Asia or... Um, but the thing is, am I ready to be a minority by appearance? <laughs> Because like me, I'm already having like, oh, my life is being the odd one out and being, it's already like so dramatic. Imagine if it was now like legitimate, oh dear Lord. Um, yeah, it has been a personal code of conduct, have a productive week. And I think I will because I, I am starting to ask the heavy eating questions. I am, even though it's not like as effective or efficient as I ought to be doing, I am putting my starting to put myself out there, put my brain into content and blah 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 and explanations and rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. And I'm going to finish the article. Ignore me getting distracted. I'm going to finish that CLTV article. And and I'm going to find the part-time visualization gig. Like I am too good at Power BI and telling stories, which is the reason why I need to finish that business and, and creating a storyboard and giving realistic options for businesses to grow i also need to do i also need to present my theory because like if they're not going to listen to it's my fucking organization people on medium will see it they have to see the potential in that segmentation process and yeah let's look at that a business but i need to find good data obviously you can't use company data and i'll do that I'll do that and I'll get that for people because I feel like as a data analyst, as somebody who's pre- presenting information and, and trying to get myself some, somewhere, I have come up with solutions that I feel will drive a business forward. And I need to put myself in a situation where I get to shine and make money because I actually just want money because I want to go on holiday. But I also think like the work I've done is um, deser- like especially doing the work um, independently and being in a situation where you had to like, strategize, research, do everything by yourself and figure it out. I want to do well. Ah, fuck. I'm also terrified that I'd have a bad boss. Well, it has been a personal code of conduct. Have a productive day. Thank you very much.